Hey, hey bitches. bitches! Welcome to, welcome back to my channel, Jose's Dream. Who is this bitch right here? Oh, bitch is Christian. <laughs> oh, so if you haven't seen by the title of this video, girl, you must need to buy some glasses or something because today's video we're gonna do a get ready with me with my main bad bitch over here, Christian. Hey. So this video was like in the making for the longest. Like we've been planning this for like a whole year, and we're finally here. Like finally here, finally so sitting here, gonna do our makeup and spill some cheese man. some good cheese. Yeah, man. so I'm excited for y'all to hear and just like if you wanna come along, please feel free to also do your makeup with us, have like a little chit chat and whatever. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah be a bad bitch. So if you wanna see how we went from this to this, keep on watching. So first things first, like, what got you into doing makeup, Christian? Like, what is like your first story? Girl, what got me into makeup was, I don't know, just seeing movies, you know, I guess girls with the beautiful makeup, their eyeshadows and mm -hmm. everything, that's what got me into it. For real? Uh, what about you? Um, I don't know, I was always so fond of it when I was a like, little kid, and I remember one time I was wearing like foundation powder, and my neighbor was like, oh, why are you putting on makeup? Like, you know, your boys can wear makeup and your balls will fall off? Like, literally, that's what she told me. Oh. And I was like, whatever. And then if I always go to my great grandma's house, like I always play around her makeup, like sneakily, and I'm like, oh look at me, I'm such like, I don't know, I was always so fond, like just like the, just the idea of just like becoming like a bad bitch in yeah. general, like, Ooh, uh, like I don't know. Since you're just, a young girl, you ain't new. Yeah, I was new. When, like, but when was like the first time you ever saw me wearing makeup, like? Oh, like, like what was the occasion? Like, oh, like, I'm going to put makeup on today and go out the door and become a bad bitch. That would be in high school. In high school, what year? Yeah. Um, I think that was my sophomore. No, no, no. Junior year. Junior year? Is it right? Sophomore? I mean, freshman and sophomore? Yeah, freshman. Sophomore year. For real? Um, Ooh, yeah. You started earlier than me. Yeah, girl, I just went over there. Because the Did first it. time I wore makeup was in, I was a senior. The summer before my senior year. I mean, I always wore makeup and drama, but I used that as an excuse to put makeup on. Um, yeah. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just putting makeup on for drama. But like, low key, I liked it. Like, because yeah, <laughs> I haven't came down before. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. So how was that? Wearing makeup and drama class at then? I mean, I would do like the yeah. girl. I was used to wear like a white face, a foundation, because nobody never had my skin tone. But I was oh. like wearing like eyeliner, mascara, just like the simple makeup, like yeah. for dudes. Girl. But low key, I wanted more. I wanted more. You would give me Sister oh. Mary at the time. Yes, look at the little mini. Look, it's mini, and it's like oh my god, <laughs> what I said. What do you usually start off? Your brows or what? Your foundation for us? Because I know a lot of people do the makeup so different. They do, girl. Um, I start off with brows first. Girl, same. Fucking liar. I like, I like, I just love how makeup is so universal. Here. Like universal. How you say universal? I think so. That's how you say it. I think so. Sorry, the blonde is getting to big words. Sorry, the blonde is getting to me. <laughs> Bye, not the blonde. Oh. No, girl, but y'all, you can do makeup different ways. And there's no rule to makeup, but I, I know, know a lot of people be judging it, but your makeup doesn't look good. Well, girl, let me know. There's different types of makeup, how you can do it. There's very many different techniques, too. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing, because that helps you out so much in the long run. So our brows already fell, so we, now we're just kind of correcting our madness because this dude was still our man. Trying to make a woman. Cause we could get the man. For real, time to catfish. <laughs> Not catfish. Definitely. Ugh. I never used cut it curls. I'm like, the fuck? Like, the heck? Well, I'm gonna look like a motherfucking clown. But baby, the end looking flawless. Some, nobody can clock me or something. You no, know, it's like, no, what's it called? Over shadows? Huh? Uh, what did they call it? On dry? The shadow? Oh, five o'clock shadow? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, some drag people are like, man, they have a full on beard. I mean, I'm barely having And they are they good. I look like, I just ate a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm big pumpkin bitch. <laughs> Give him pumpkin That's big fine. booty pumpkin. <laughs> Speaking of pumpkin. Here, I know, Girl. like, I feel like the year is going by so fast. Like, I'm not be able to do stuff. Mm. 
I think when you get older, like the years go by so quick. For real. And it's sad because then you just realize, like, oh, like you know, like I'm not. I don't know. Just the years. Time's going by so quick. Everybody. And I'm getting up. older. Like, yeah. how old are you? 21. No, do 20. You're 20. I'm 22. I feel like I'm an old bitch already. Like. Girl, yes, I am. You're still young. You still gotta live your life. I st I'm, to be honest, I haven't really lived my life yet. Not yet. To the potential I have. It's in you, little girl. I have so much, like, plan. Like, I have so many goals, and I feel like I haven't achieved them. And I get so impatient and discouraged, and I just want to give up. Like, you know? Yeah, that kind girl. of feeling. You know, I feel like giving up. You gotta enjoy life, because how people say life is short. Mm hmm. Take it one day at a time. Yeah. Using the elf product. Yeah. Ooh, elf is so good. Elf is. I think people be sleeping on elf just because yeah. it's a drugstore product. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mainly use drugstore. Like, I use Avon because I need to use this up before it expires. And I'm yeah. using it well. Like, this is my go to foundation. Something, girl. I'm just mixing the two foundations. If I look yellow, don't judge me, okay? It's not my cool. I think I'm white. Yeah, the girls in high school. <laughs> they thought they look so cute. Picture day, girl. You were like fucking married. A girl. Thanks, back girl. then, I used to thought I, I thought I used to be like the beauty guru in high school. I bitch. I look at pictures back from back then. I'm like, girl, what was that thing? I mean, yeah, as long as you're feeling your own, girl, anything wrong with that? That's that's all I was about. That's that's the, key. That, that's the most important thing. If you're feeling old, go ahead, girl. Hey, nothing can turn you down, girl. Do not listen to nobody, cause everybody's gonna have opinions about you no matter what. But. You just can't listen to them because girls, your life. No, <laughs> they're haters because you look much more prettier than they are. Because um, that's what, something my mama has always told me was you live your life the way you want to live it because it's your life, it's not their life. For real? And you only live it once, girl. So you gotta live it with regrets, no regrets, you know what I mean? Because everybody makes mistakes. That's how Montana once said. Everybody has mistakes. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Everybody makes mistakes. Girl, I thought I was Hannah Montana. Oh, really? You were them little kids, girl. So, have you ever dated a girl? No, I no. never. Have you ever been with a girl? No. Like sexually? Have you? No. <laughs> girl. I mean, I dated hot. I dated girls in elementary, but I'm like, they don't count. I remember one time I had my first kiss in elementary. I'm like, yeah. girl. <laughs> I think I slobbered over her too, I think. I really? think I did. Like, my lips were like... Because I was so nervous that I kept on licking my lips. Mm. I'm like, I think, no. And that's the most questions gay guys always get is, have you ever been with a girl? And Do you like, ever want to be with a girl? I was like, how would you know you're gay? And then how yeah. you know you're straight? Yeah, and as soon as you ask them that, they get, like, some of them can get thin. They're like, uh-uh, I will never do that. They're like, I'm so Yeah, they be up in my DMs. It's like... <laughs> For real. Oh, but they do be getting offended. Even the girls, you be asking them, you like, well, you know, have you ever thought about being with a girl? And they're like, no. No. I would never. I'll be the dumbass to get them pregnant the first time. <laughs> you. Girl, that's me. But okay, are you the girl in the relationship? Like, yes. I always tell that to people. And that's another question that gay people get too. It's like, who's the girl? Who's the boy? I mean, I think I'm the girl, like, the more submissive. Like, oh my gosh, like, hold me and shit. But sometimes I think I can be a little dominant. Like, I don't know. Oh, uh, a little verse, I see. No, no, I'm not averse, but. Liar. It's hard to find a man when you're gay. Especially a femme. A femme who wears makeup. Yes, because honestly, that's all you see on gay, um, gay dating um, apps. <laughs> the profile literally says that. No fans, no chubs, no, no Asians, no mask, only the fuck. Yeah. I feel like there's so judge, like so judgment in the gay community, like yeah. so much. Like I get you trying to find yourself a boot, but you can also get a friend though too. Yeah, like, like that's why I try my best. Like if I see a bar, I'm like I do try and hit them up, be like hey, but never works. But let me stop lying, cause I do be trying to look mainly for a boo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for to be honest. At this point in my life, yeah, girl, uh, no, I'm just looking for a beer. Like I already got friends, but I could use a little bit more friends. But it's just. But sometimes I do get lonely because I also want to be like, oh, I'm gonna go out to the movies, hold hands. Because I never had that in high school, mm -hmm. and I think that's what I'm like. I don't know. I think I, I think I just want. I like the idea of it, but I think I'm not ready for it just yet. Yeah, girl, I understand that. 
just stop being gay. It really you is. You gotta deal with dating. And, and, and a lot of people think that, a lot of people think we choose to be gay, girl. girl if I, for real, like we don't choose it. And I'm gonna, I ain't gonna be like the life chooses us. No, we're just, you know. Yeah. It just happens. It's not like when we're little, we just wake up one day with like, I oh, want peanut. No. Uh, uh -uh. We just. It's just. I hate that when people say that we choose to be gay. Yeah, Girl, we do you don't choose. It. Do you, do I choose to be odd to get discriminated every day to be looked at like up and down? For real. Think about me. I'm a more protective about the gay community. Like, we're well, not the gay community, but like my friends are gay. Uh huh. Like I'm more protective about them, but I don't give a damn what people say about me. Okay, so I already did all my um, cream products. Now I'm going to set my face. And my boo over here is starting on her eyeshadow. What palette are you using, boo? I'm using the Modern Residence. 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 What color look are you going to do and go for? I was going to try to do a pink look, but I think I'm just going to go with like a little fall, little look. Fall little brown, look. Soft brown, dark brown, maybe. Okay. You, what kind of look are you going to go for? Too? Okay, I want to do a... I can't say this word. Purple? Purple? Morado? Morado. Yeah. Cause <laughs> you sad. Oh, what's that, guys? That wasn't me. I guess it's a homophobic, it's homophobic ghost. Oh. Ooh, I think he has booty in my ghost at night. Girl, I put my booty on eating my mirrors until we eat and. You'd be like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Girl, you'd be like the I'm my douche and movie too. I'm all douche and shaming just for you. You'd be walking around the house. Where are you? Right. My base is looking nice. It is, girl. See, that's what I need to learn how to do and stuff like that. Girl, and practice makes like, practice makes perfect booty. It does, and I always come up with these keys. It's because of work. It's because I got a babysitter. Girl, I can still do it even when I'm babysitting because my nieces they love to watch me do makeup and they really? need to do theirs. Oh, what do they ask? Like, what do they say? Like, she's like, What are you doing? They're like, Are you doing makeup? They're like, Can you do mine? Like, I know you have an older brother, right? Mm -hmm. How does he feel about you being gay? Like, a girl, he's very supportive. Honestly, when I when he first found out that came out, um, he um, he bought me my makeup. He bought me like eyeliner and I forgot what else, but he was very supportive that he did that. Oh, that is yeah. so sweet. That made me want to cry when he first did it because um, that's what inspired me to get more into makeup because I was like, you know. Because of your brother yeah. buying your makeup? That yeah. is so cute. And he bought me very good eyeliner too, so he knew what he was doing. Girl. What about you? What's your story? Uh, my story, I mean, I'm the oldest, so I think I'm the only like out person in my family. So it's like, it's not hard. I don't know. A lot of people was like astonished because I was gay. Because I grew up in like a religious household. Oh so I was like, you know, like the norms of being a religious household. Was like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's such a shocking. Like, you know. Yeah. So like, at first it was really hard. But I mean, I had some family members always tell me, I think I knew you were gay, but it wasn't certain. Because I was like really girlish. Like I was hanging out with my girl cousins. Mm -hmm. All the time. Now, the especially, especially in high school too. I always hang out with the girls. My mom accepts me and stuff. At like in the end of the day, but she's not approved of it. But like uh -huh. since I'm happy, she's happy. So she's still in the learning phase, kind of. I believe you know so. Like it? I don't know. I just I feel still weirded out about it. Like you know. Oh. Yeah. Me, and my mommy, my whole family aren't really not that close. Like my whole family in general. Like you not your dad. Oh, my dad, yeah, he's really supportive. Like, yeah, I live with him right yeah. now. But, but you're close with him? Or yeah, not? we're close. Like, we went and got reconnected. Because he was living, like, around when I was little. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But, yeah. I mean, he sees me doing my makeup, and he's like, he doesn't say nothing about it. All he says is just be careful, like, what I do, and, you know. Oh, yeah. Girl, same thing. My dad didn't tell me nothing. He just... Walks. But he's supportive though, he's very supportive. When I first came out, girl, he was him and mom, they both told me that. But he just told me that he still loves me, that there's nothing has changed, like I'm still the son that he's always known. For real? You know, and they both said I'm just a blessing from God, I'm like an angel. Aww. And I like that. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. When my daddy found out, it's because I was going ther to therapy. Therapy for what? Yeah, well, my mom just put me in therapy just to make sure that I'm okay. Cause, she, you know, being gay is hard, and especially yeah. in, like um, high school, middle school. That's when 
you know, when people find out you're gay, they see start attacking you. Mm -hmm. Some people do, some people don't. Well, I mean, everybody knew I was gay, but I always said, no, I'm not gay, no, I'm not gay. So it's like rumors. But whenever mm -hmm. I came out, everybody knew, okay, whatever, they're okay with it. But now I was like, Remember at my senior year start, I was like more like a whole different person with like a whole bunch of confidence, like a whole never confidence. Yeah. Because I was never so confident in myself. And now I'm really confident. Like I was like, so like, I don't, a lot of people say it's conceited, but it's not conceited. It's confidence. Yeah. Because I never had confidence. Like nobody's never going to take that away from me because it was hard for me to even get yeah. that in the beginning. It is, girl. I mean, that's good that you found it because, girl, it's, it's hard to find it. Mm -hmm. It really is nowadays. And it's scary. It is. I mean, thank God I haven't really experienced like discrimination. I mean, the only one time I experienced it when I went to stripes and I opened the door for a guy and he said, close it. And I was so confused. He's like, close the door. And I was closing it and he's a faggot. And I'm like, oh, oh. Speaker. that's the only time that someone called me a faggot, a stranger called me a faggot. But I wasn't like, I'm about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I should leave the show. I was strutting myself to the, my car, showing more of being more gay. Girl, I know you. I can't let people like that get in your way of your happiness. Mm -hmm. Especially in a small town, it's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm from a like, it's also a conservative town, really conservative. When I first started doing makeup, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> yeah. Wish I went to a campbell. It sucks, but they're more. That's a lot. Whole bunch more gay people though. People here, they got are very cool. I haven't really met a lot of gay people. Like, cause the only ones we know is just the ones everybody talks about. Cause because of scandal. Cause <laughs> not gonna <of> scandal. <laughs> that's crazy. That's your first boyfriend. I had one. But it was on and off. It was so funny, and now we're like. Your besties? For real? Mm -hmm. Oh. But now we're besties. Now we're closer. That's cool. We're close back then. I wish I had a gay best friend. I mean, we're not best friends, but like we're like gay mm -hmm. friends. Like we're yeah, like sisters. Like we, we're working up to the besties. Yeah. <laughs> like to be honest, this is the first time you ever hanged out out of work. You yeah, you're not wrong. Dip. That that is such an accomplishment. Lost yeah. So I put in too much power because I'm about to do eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna use the um Blood Lust palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I used it like about twice so far already. Look how color. pretty the colors are. It's so pretty. And then the outside of it, how it feels like it yes, feels like a velvet. Is. So I think I'm gonna do a halo look. I haven't really done a halo look before. Oh. I mean, I did it once, but I'm not really good at it. Halo looks so good. Yes, ma'am. Hey, sir. Oh. Are you doing cutting the grease? Yeah. Just so this little shimmery color can pop out a lot more. Tap in the color. Yeah, we'll have sleepovers and then I'll drag my sister's makeup. Girl, I look so white. My eyeliner was just a line. For real? I got pics of it, girl. It sends me out. <laughs> hey, we gotta start somewhere. True. Huh. How was your makeup when you first started? Girl, my eyebrows were thick as fuck. They were like looking little caterpillars. Not no caterpillars. Yeah, they are like leeches. Oh my god, that look at them. I mean, they're still kind of thick, but at least they have like a little shape to it. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know, yeah, you do like that. Okay, so Christian already finished her her eyeshadow. Look at it, like it's like little dreamy, like vibe. It's giving you euphoria. Mm-hmm, euphoria. So I'm just fairly cut my crease, trying to do a halo, try attempt to do a halo look. Tough to do. So Christian, are you talking to any guys lately? Mmm, yeah. Oh, spill the tea. Girl, I'm talking to like two guys. I mean, but I'm taking this one serious though. One serious. Me saying that I'm talking to another guy. Just because other guys from Houston and. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I would do the drive. Just. He's. We're not vibing like how I'm vibing with the other one. Okay. What about you, girl? I mean, I have. 
I mean, I have backups. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Backups. That's exactly what I teach my people. For real. Yeah. Because sometimes they be... Like, last week I got stood up. Mm-hmm. I got stood up. He's like, he's the one who hit me up and said, Oh, yeah, come over, pick you up. We can go to my house. You can go out to eat. And so, you know, I took my extra time to do my makeup, make sure my face is beat to the gods. Mm-hmm. And he's okay, I'm barely leaving. This whole never texted me. I was literally waiting for an hour. So I mm-hmm. felt I was like, I know this guy's gonna go show up, so let me take a nap. Well, I woke up. My makeup still looked good. I said, you know what? I'm not making this makeup to be wasted. I did my makeup for no reason. Mm-hmm. And I met up with another guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Oh, yeah. Back up, girl. That's what you gotta do sometimes. I mean, we didn't do nothing. We just, like, caught you, up. Yeah. Yeah, because I hear people like that. They're like, yeah, we'll meet up and then. For real. Last minute, they're like, oh, sorry, I did this, I did that. Like, no. Mm, I got no time for that. I ain't saying that. I'm the one that does that. Look at you, boo boo. What is that? Uh, and that. Bring, like bring, bring it up a little bit. Don't bring it like this. Bring, blend up. Oh, this. like that? Yeah. That's the right here. Oh, girl, this is more like a lot. Me messing up? <laughs> Bye. Just process. Girl, my shit looks like a lot. Yeah. So when people ask you body count, what do you take that as? Like, oh, like what? who you have slept with or who you have, you know, nothing to force with? Like, my body count, like, what are you talking about? Like, annually, orally? Yeah, like, when people ask you that, what do you basically think? I mean, annually, I mean, body count, I think that's annually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, like, girl, I don't give up my booty out. Mm-hmm. Last time I did anal was two months ago. Really? Yeah. Girl, talk to you. You, what about you? Girl, every weekend. Just kidding. Oh! No, girl, never. No, I'm the same way. I do not give myself up. I don't. I, um, made a promise to myself that I'm weak. Until you marriage or what? No, not until marriage. God, no. But until I find, like, a good boyfriend, at okay. least. Because I don't want to be, like, coming around. I, okay, I am around. I mean, I'm holding around, but I'm not like anally holding around. I'm just like talking and then. See what goes with the flow. Uh huh. Okay, so we already finished the eye. I'll do like a little galaxy type of moment, like an abstract type of moment. And now we're putting on lashes. I'm using the Murphy lashes and the Star Slayage. How they look. And Christian over here already beating me and put his lashes on. Without the camera. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be back with the lashes on. We'll put a lip and we, we will be back with completed look. <laughs> And we're back. So guys, like, look how we look. Sunny. Like, what do you call this look? Girl, I don't even know. A little... I don't know. It gives me, like, a for like, type of vibes. Oh, and this gives me, like, little abstract galaxy vibes. It like... does. It looks so good. Shit. We did that. Like. Okay. We're gorgeous. Ready to go out. Oh, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe oh, to my no. channel if you have it. And hit the notification bell so next time you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Yeah, I'm gonna put all his social platforms in the description below. So make sure to give him a follow, y'all. Until next time, stay bad, bitches. Bye.